Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're going to do something really special uh, for LSUA and for all of our employees. We're going to have an online virtual presentation, or at least recognition, of our winners of the employee awards for this year. Uh, we do plan on doing a dinner later and appropriately uh, recognizing everybody at a nice dinner and uh, make sure they get their awards, whether it's monetary or a plaque or a medallion or a pin. But we thought it was important that we keep things moving forward here at LSUA and, and recognize the good work everybody's been doing, particularly during this COVID-19. It's amazing what everybody has accomplished in such a short period of time. Everybody's a winner in my mind, but there are people that are gonna be especially uh, recognized today that did went beyond the call of duty this past year. And we want to give them the recognition that they're due uh, now because it is the time of year. In fact, we would have done it here on campus if we'd be here, but uh, I wish we would be together, but we cannot be. So hopefully this will be a way of brightening everybody's day and uh, everybody in the organization will know that we appreciate the hard work that everybody's doing, especially these winners. In this time of great crisis and challenges, uh, it is the right time to recognize great work and good work. Uh, I can tell you it's an honor to be part of the LSUA family. And I see this organization, this university as a family, because we all pull together. Uh, we care for one another. And uh, it's not really looked at by many of us as a job, it's, it's a vocation. Uh, we care about students. We want them to reach their dreams, fulfill their dreams. Uh, we want them to fulfill their educational goals and to graduate. And for that reason, uh, we all come to work every day and the students are our focus and we really survive and thrive around our students. As I said, I wish we could be together, but uh, we are together in spirit every day, every day that we're at home working uh, I feel like we're together in spirit, separate but together. Through, the, through these awards, uh, I can tell you we're all inspired by the work that's been done uh, throughout the year, but it, more particularly the last few weeks. Uh, it's made us all appreciate the dedication of our faculty and staff and the resilience of our students as well, because they've had to really overcome some major challenges and changes that we've had to make for online courses. LSUA continues to be a great university, one that we're all proud to work for. But today is a special day that we want to recognize the good work of the award winners that have gone the extra mile and being recognized today for the good work they've done. We hope that uh, everyone is safe at home. We hope that through this video that we can all be together again through the magic of the internet. And we look forward to when we're all back together as a family here at LSUA. Now I'm gonna ask Dr. John Rowan to say a few words and also begin the presentation of the awards today. Thank you. Well, I personally cannot wait for the time when we do get to uh, all come together in person, have a nice dinner, uh, recognize everyone again, but to me, most importantly, be together as a community. Uh, the, the community here at LSUA uh, is, is something that is uh, uh, very tangible and it's really, um, it's what brought me here in part and it's so valuable. And we wish, Dr. Carell and I, that you know, we could do more for all of you who are working so hard for the benefit of our students. Um, this award ceremony, uh, virtual though it is, is uh, goes a little bit uh, of the way towards recognizing how valuable you all are. Um, it doesn't do enough and we realize that, um, but we want you to know from the bottom of our hearts how much we appreciate what you do, especially in these times. We're gonna start with the recognition of our uh, service learning group. And this is uh, a recognition that will 
um, be accompanied by a certificate, which we will get to each uh, person being recognized. And I'm gonna read the names of who they are. Stephen Adams, Abby Bain, Sarah Black, Michael Corson, Arlene Duas, Tina Hathorne, Liz Johnson, Ethan Lipsy, Haley Malone, Daniel Manuel, Susan Myrick, Nathan Sammons, Teresa Seymour, Kyle Thorne, and Kathy Wimmer. Service learning is uh, an important part of what we ought to be doing, and I'm very grateful to all of you who are helping to uh, make, make that the case. We're next gonna move on to the Teaching Innovation Awards. And we have four nominees for this particular award. The nominees are Prakash Gimeyer, Workinay Kite, Rafael Romero, and Nathan Sammons. And the winner of the Teaching Innovation Award is Nathan Sammons. And I'm told it's uh, at least in part on behalf of the uh, entire Department of Biological Sci uh, Sciences. So congratulations to Nate and to all of you. I'm gonna turn it back over to Dr. Correll to recognize years of service and retirees. Thank you, John. Uh, years of service award is very important. Uh, we need to always recognize when people uh, serve for a good part of their lives at different intervals in their lives and recognize their accomplishments and their dedication to LSUA. So we're gonna start with the five years of service awards first and move on to uh, all the way to 25 years of service. For five years of service, Sharon Blue, Susan Bowers, Donald Collins, Larry Cordera, Melinda Descant, Patsy Jenkins, Peggy Kidder, Sonia Coomer, Long Lee, Ethan Lipsy, Kristen Mesh Miller, Megan Valentine and Zachary Wagner. Really appreciate their service to LSUA. The 10 years of service awards, Melinda Anderson, Kathy Cormier, Jeffrey Fletcher, Georgia Fox, Rhonda Gaspar, Tanya Luter, Jeff Massey, and Jason Norman. Congratulations to the 10 year service award winners. 15 years of service. Elizabeth Beard, Titus Belgard, Claudette Green, Zaliki Nagatu, Fred Raffles, Janitha Silas, Jeremy Simmons, and Linda Smith. We congratulate 15 years of service. 25 years of service. Eamon Halpin, Teresa Seymour, Mary Trudy, and Beth, <coughs> excuse me, and Beth Whittington. 25 years, quite a, an accomplishment to, uh, to be here at LSUA. We appreciate all of our years of service award winners for this, this year. And we hope that they can be with us for many more years. We always try to recognize uh, employees who had their careers end here and retired here, and then went on to the retire, retirement chapter of their lives. And we're gonna recognize them now. First one is Terry Carter, who was uh, operating engineer master for five years. And uh, he retired this past year. And Chevalier, an instructor in maps, 20 years total, retired. Ray Edwards, utility plant director, 21 and a half years, retired this past year. Janice Miller, counselor in student services, nine years. Gloria Phillips, assistant professor in nursing, six and a half years. 
Charles Quinn, maintenance repair master, 23 years, and Rosemary Robinson Smith, retention and advising specialist, 15 and a half years. I'd like to say, let's all give them a round of applause, but we'll do that when we have the dinner, but uh, really appreciate uh, their dedication and service to our university and uh, we wish them well in their retirement. The next awards we're gonna move to is the Staff Senate Scholarship and the Boss of the Year. Uh, the Staff Senate Scholarship nominees, I'll name them first. First, uh, Megan Berman, Montez Franks, Janitha Silas, and Lamona Wallace, they're the nominees. The two winners are Montez Franks and Janitha Silas. Really appreciate their service and uh, recognize them for their good work. The boss of the year, there were several great nominees. I'll name the nominees first. Randall, Randall DuPont, Patricia Hoyt, Haywood Joyner, Jeff Massey, Jason Norman, and Jerry Sanson. And the winner of the Boss of the Year is Dr. Haywood Joyner. And we really congratulate Dr. Joyner for that accomplishment. We're gonna move now to the endowed professorship presentations and the tenure and promotion awards. Dr. Rowan is gonna do that, those. Okay, so what I will do uh, is I'm gonna actually, since there are a number of winners, I'm just gonna start reading the recipients of the endowed professorships for the next two years. These are professorships that run from 2020 to 2022. The J.H. Johnson Endowed Professorship in Business goes to Kent Lashney. The Royo Martin Jr. Endowed Professorship in Business goes to Beverly Allwell. The F. Hugh Coughlin Endowed Professorship is awarded to Mary Truding. The Carolyn Cole Saunders Endowed Professorship is awarded to Workin' A. Kite. The Mark Eugene Howard Endowed Professorship goes to Shanu Nanjia. The Huey Delman Trust Endowed Professorship in Liberal Arts is awarded to Jennifer Inerarity. The Howard M. and Eloise Ferris Mulder Endowed Professorship goes to P.J. Gerjar. The Joanne Lyles White Endowed Professorship in Education goes to Tina Hathorne and Rhonda Wilson, who teamed up on that one. The Jenkins Mulder Endowed Professorship in Business is awarded to Rafael Romero. The Charles Vernon and William Child Jr. Endowed professor Professorship goes to Bob Jones. The Robert Rife Saunders Endowed Professorship goes to Carol Corbett. The Vanita Johnson Martin Endowed Professorship goes to Goyi Ke. The Francis Holt Friedman Endowed Professorship is awarded to Martha McMillan. The Barbara Martin Endowed Professorship in Nursing goes to Catherine Doyle. The Roy and Vanita Martin Endowed Professorship in Math and Science is awarded to Jessica Ringo. And that completes our list of those who are receiving the endowed professorships for the next two years. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, and we're gonna look forward to uh, seeing the great results of your work. We're moving now to recognition of those faculty members who were promoted this past year. And uh, those who were promoted from assistant professor to associate professor are Susan Bowers, and her promotion comes with tenure. 
We also have Mary Kay Sunderhouse and Beth Whittington. So congratulations to the three of them, again, for being promoted from assistant to associate professor. And then we have promotion to the highest academic rank, which is the rank of professor. So these two individuals are being uh, elevated from associate to prof associate professor to professor. Congratulations to Sultan Parvez and Michelle Riggs. And now we have the outstanding Staff Service Award. And for that, I'm going to go back to Dr. Carell. Thanks, John. Uh, we have outstanding staff across our campus that we really appreciate all the great work they do. Uh, they make the campus uh, move forward every day, day in and day out, and we really appreciate all of the, uh, the staff service employees across the campus. The nominees for the award this year are Laura Fowler, June Gilry, Ashley Nelson, Kara Wagner, and Angela White. And the winner this year is Laura Fowler. We congratulate Laura for this accomplishment. Now I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Rowan, who will do outstanding faculty scholarship awards. I want to say uh, before I get to the awards that I'm very grateful to the LSUA Foundation for sponsoring two new awards. Uh, a moment ago, I just covered uh, promotion, uh, faculty promotions. And for those of you who don't know, faculty promotions are based on three main areas and those are teaching, that's really the first and foremost area because we are a teaching first institution. But being excellent in that area is not enough to warrant promotion. You also have to be very accomplished in scholarship and in service. So this year for the first time, in addition to the prestigious Bolton Award for Teaching Excellence, we have awards for faculty for outstanding performance in those other two areas, scholarship and service. Uh, each of those awards will come with a certificate and uh, a $500 check. And I'm gonna do the outstanding faculty scholarship award first. We had four nominees for this award. Carol Corbett, Gerard Dumancus, Goyi Ke, and Jerry Sanson. And again, each of these individuals is doing absolutely terrific work in uh, their research and their scholarship. The first winner of this award is Dr. Jerry Sanson. Congratulations to Dr. Sanson. I will add in passing that his most recent book is scheduled to come out from LSU Press right about now. Uh, and they are moving forward with that even in these unique times. So congratulations again to Dr. Sanson. For the Outstanding Faculty Service Award, this again being the first year for this award, we had nine nominees. And that shows you just how much work our, our excellent faculty are doing on campus, in the community, and in their professional areas. The nine uh, nominees for this award are Susan Bowers, Arlene Duas, Bernard Gallagher, Melissa Laborde, Kent Lashney, Lisa Marshall, Sandra Purifoy, Mary Truding, and Melissa Whitley. And the recipient of the Outstanding Faculty Service Award is Kent Lashney. So congratulations to Dr. Lashney. And the Bolton Award for Teaching Excellence. As you may know, this comes with uh, a plaque and a check for $1,000. Um, this award has been in place for a number of years, um, very prestigious. And I will go ahead and announce the winner of that award from nursing, Sarita James. 
Congratulations, Sarita. Again, uh, as we get near the end of what we're doing this morning, um, I just want to personally thank all of you for what you do for our students. Um, what we're all about here at LSUA is helping them uh, create a foundation for their future success, where success is really understood as living a life, pursuing a profession in which they can be very happy, where they're doing what they're passionate about, where uh, they have a career that really matches their goals, their values, and their interests. And I, I really can tell that that's what we are all about here at LSUA. Uh, it seems that we are living examples of what we want our students to be, namely people who are passionate about what we do. And in this particular profession, higher education, we have the opportunity to reach into the future, decades into the future through our students and impact what happens to society down the road. To me, there's really nothing that's more special than that. So again, I thank you for what you're doing. And um, I look forward to seeing you all in person again very soon. So with that, I'll turn it back to Chancellor Carell. Thanks, John. We appreciate the comments. So true. I want to again congratulate all the winners of the awards today. Uh, outstanding accomplishment. And uh, we want to applaud all of the work you've done to reach the, uh, the recognition by your peers to be nominated and to actually be awarded the prestigious awards we announced today. All the award winners in my mind continue to be a ray of hope for all of us uh, to be the university we want to be, to be that uh, ray of hope for students, for the community, especially during this COVID-19 challenge that we, we're facing right now. Um, everyone's recognized for their good work across the campus, but these winners are especially recognized and we want to congratulate them in a special way. And hopefully through this virtual uh, event that we uh, are going to be posting and will be presenting to you uh, will be a way that you can be recognized appropriately. But the dinner is really what John and I look forward to to seeing all of you and being able to visit with you and your families and uh, appropriately recognize you. And some of the monetary awards and the pins and the medallions can be presented to you then. So with that, we're gonna close for now and uh, thank you for all your service to LSUA and to the community and to the students. And we'll ask uh, everyone to uh, receive God's blessing and thank you for joining us today. <laughs>